I kill pedophiles cause I'm not one. Blow their balls off with a sawed off shotgun. And if their victims end up being into children, I kill them. Yo. I kill Nazis, I kill people who talk to Nazis I kill the paparazzi who shot me, trying to dox me I kill Antifa, I'll teach you to protest peaceful Plus I kill police, who peg people with less lethals Yo, if you kill black people, I kill you And if you are black, well I still do I kill Jews, depending on what side they're on Plus I kill kids taking pictures of their dicks, that's child porn I kill pregnant women at abortion clinics Then I kill the protesters trying to storm in it I rape racists then castrate rapists who else? I kill trans people if they fucking try to kill themselves Please don't do this I don't wanna watch you die Please don't hate me I'm American as apple pie I'm so sorry you lose your mind, the dream is over Fuck you bitch, I'd rather rip out my eyes Dry drunk, high strung Only time I'm fun is right after I come And I fuck once every five months And time's up, hashtag time's up Might be your body, but it's my cunt What the fuck you think I hate him so much? I'm Trump and this YouTube channel is just mine, con. I'd rather breathe Cyclone B than bite my tongue. Used to want to murder conservatives, I ain't proud of it. Back home being Republican wasn't allowed, was it? I spent my life in closets, now I'm coming out of them. Your friends and family, they don't really stick around. Cause it's funny when, when your, your heart, heart breaks, breaks, it doesn't make a sound, does it? Pick up the pieces, Max, get yourself some counsel. And now I don't bow down, found out how to be loud. Fuck it, and when you cowards drown me, I'll make sure that there's a crowd watching. Please don't do this. I don't wanna watch you die. Please don't hate me. I'm American as apple pie. I'm so sorry. Your mind, the dream is over. Fuck you, bitch. I'd rather rip out my eyes. Please don't do this. I don't wanna watch you die. Please don't hate me. I'm American as apple pie. I'm so sorry. Didn't mean to make you lose your mind. The dream is over. I'd rather rip out my eyes Come on, baby! Let's do the grift! I know it's not on sync. I'm always out of sync with the damn music. I'm always behind. Guys, welcome! Another beautiful episode! We're here! The Tuesday Night Grand Yes! I'm your host, Tito Duvaldi. Joining us tonight is Star Study Cast. Star Study Fair. I hide the fucking video. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? It's Tuesday. It's a beautiful Tuesday, February 13th. Uh, we are here. We are live from beautiful Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited to be here with you. Got a lot to talk about. A lot of fun. We're going to ride around the ranch and see what happens. Uh, what can I say? It's been a long week for some of us. It's been an even longer week for uh, one individual who we'll be talking about. We may be visited uh, by some special guests who say they might come. Oh, get in here. Hold on. Fucking mint salad. Get in here, mint. Get in here, mint. Mint salad's going, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to come in to, to the stream. Get in here, you dumb girl. Also, here tonight, uh, first time ever on The Grift, our good friend Peter Coffin is here. Hey. How's it going, up? man? Oh, you how's, know. Uh, not downloading any uh, cartoon <laughs> child porn, you know? It's just, really hard, right? Just, it's really hard to not do a, that. Having a grand old time not doing that. 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, we've made the point like, okay, why do you not just have a separate computer for streaming? Why do you have, you, why don't you not have a separate porn, horse porn computer? They have all the horse porn you want and you never got to worry about anything. Yeah. You, 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 you would think about that, but, but I guess that takes like five seconds of, of thinking uh, <laughs> when you're not attached to a computer or a social network. Yeah. I feel like those are the impediments that are probably in the way. Well, you've got a couple of people here in the chat. Yami says, let's horse around. Fox <laughs> Executable says, back in the saddle again. Uh, I think everybody knows. Well, I don't even, I don't know. Okay, so how do you, how do you even talk about this uh, story? Where do you start? Uh, I obviously made a little video compilation that I posted on Twitter that I think puts it in context. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, oh, wait, is it the wrong? Hold on. I have to share my screen. Share screen. Uh, this one. Okay. So, Vosh, uh, what, what do we say about Vosh? What can we say? What is this individual? I would I would think you uh, more have an opinion on this individual than I do. Oh, I think yeah. He's, yeah. So, you know, Vosh is a communist, right? <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, you I mean, are also a communist. Right. Well, uh, Peter, you're you're sort of uh what what would you are you also communist? Like, well, I'm, I'm, the... I'm, I'm definitely a Marxist, yeah. You're a Marxist. I see you posting, you go to political rallies, you die hard for the cause. I'm ride or die, yeah. Ride or die <laughs> for uh, our good friend Marx. So yeah. when you see a guy like Vouch out there, who's probably one of the most well known uh supposed marxist of our our youtube age uh what do you think about this guy is he do is he doing right by the rest of the marxists uh, well you know i don't think a lot of marxists honestly a lot of people calling themselves marxists are doing us right yeah. uh but it, if this... you want to if you want to talk about what bosch is doing <laughs> doing us right is it's it's so is far this not away. Good? Is, this... is this not good for the cause? Is this not how you guys want to be represented? Is just a bunch well, of horse you know, I'm not really big into like yeah. I'm not really big into representation bullshit. Sure. I'm always criticizing that idea. I don't really care who's representing me, but yeah. I do care about like horrible shit. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of horrible shit, and uh, yeah. All right, well, I have a little one minute uh, clip here that I've actually put together, which uh, I was just I was really psyched when I saw that you you used the Always Sunny title card. When I saw this the first time on Twitter, I was just like, absolutely. It fits 100%. perfectly. It fits exactly. perfectly. Uh, all right. So here this is actually a conversation between Vouch and uh, Mr. Girl, a friend of a friend of mine, a friend of the channel, uh, discussing the ethics of. Of uh, various, yeah, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Is this consideration in line with your desire to empathize with pedophiles, or is it something more personal than that? What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, you sound like a pedophile. You sound like a pedophile. You sound like a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you know it's coming. Like, you when, know when it's coming. <laughs> When well, you know the sunny title card is, yeah. is is the payoff, then the setup <laughs> just keeps getting funnier. <laughs> I'm gonna give everybody on Twitter a quick tip. If you make the first frame of your whatever the first frame yeah. of your video is, that's the thumbnail that appears on Twitter. Because yeah, otherwise, you end up with this is a thumbnail. And people go, I don't want to see these two idiots talking. But if you make it that, they go, Oh, I gotta see this. It brought, it brought you got me with it. So I it did. Works. Yeah, you're like, I gotta click. All right, so Vosh was streaming while he was streaming for some reason decided to save an image of an asian man wearing a suit uh sadly that automatically opened his folder and let's take a look at that you can see this is an example of the kind of structure that i'm referring to, uh, structure that I'm referring to. <laughs> you i don't know if there's a for oh wait i don't know if i can show that <laughs> don't worry nothing happened there uh I'll, uh, very quick, so you can't really see it here. I think this is fine. So that's Vosh, that's nice and JPEGy. Yeah, yeah, this is all blurry. I have no idea what's going on. So uh, Vosh, I mean, I can tell what's going on here, but <laughs> I mean, I saw the okay. So we have one folder that says, "What does it say?" Old. 
Is another folder that says taxes. So this is taxes folder. Uh, next to XXX gifts, XXX picks, and XXX vids. So this is a man who keeps his gifts separate from his videos. What are gifs if not just videos? That they should be they're in the same folder. Videos. Yeah, they're looping videos. Thing. I don't know why it's taxes. I think ta taxes is a decoy. Uh, everything else is a decoy. Like this is the to be sorted folder. Folder. To okay? Oh, to be sorted on. We're in to be though. sorted. So all of yeah. the nasty crap is eventually going to go into one of those three folders, uh, mm. or taxes. Or alternatively, taxes. <laughs> like <laughs> it, it's several folders deep in the taxes folders where you find. I would hate to be Vosh's stuff. accountant. Vosh, can you please stop sending me horse pornography? I need to <laughs> file that under 135C. I should get a write-off on that. Uh, Rule 34 is not in the it's not in the tax code, man. Now, some of these images, I think up here you got some Zelda porn, sure. Down here, it's like the girl from Chainsaw Man, sure. But if you if uh, again, all of these images have been reverse image sorts. Here you see the silhouette of a horse mounting somebody. <laughs> Here you see a large horse phallus in a bucket of uh, delicious ranch dressing with two very excited anime women taking a look at that. And then some images which, uh, let's say, that they look like underage anime ladies. I'm trying not to show that. Well, I can show the face. Okay. So this was, again, one of the pictures on his thing showing what appears to be a child getting horrible things done to them. Uh, thankfully, Vaj has an explanation for why he would be looking at such content, because, uh, of course, these are not children, or at least he, he did not believe that. Uh, this is what he truly believed. In retrospect, looking at it, knowing now that that artist is a lollicon, yeah, I can see it. When I looked at yeah, it, I, I can think the vibe it. that I got... I can see. Yeah, uh, You know what? Now that I... Hmm. Now that I think about hmm. it, these kind of do look like children. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody somebody put it very well where they're like, hey, Vouch, uh, hire a PR guy. You know, I know that you want to do it all yourself and uh, raise yourself up by your bootstraps, but don't go <laughs> on stream and start talking. Here's, his, here's what he's going to tell us. He thought it was a certain uh, fantasy mythological situation. Uh, it was like short stack thick kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, like the way, uh, like goblins get drawn in porn. Uh, like the way, uh, like goblins get drawn in porn. <laughs> I can't keep that up for too long, but goblins. look at those goblins he was into. Uh, in and again, goblins. So here's the thing. Vouch is a guy who has uh, been okay with calling other people degenerates and pedophiles. Right. You all get any Discord DMs from a Mr. Girl, I strongly suggest you uh, scream those. You sound like a pedophile. How did he get that? Why did he upload this picture, by the way? I, I went looking for Vouch pictures, and I'm like, bro, the, like, forlorn, like, sad, uh, sad fat kid look is not a good look. Yeah, well, he he uploaded it so people could do the animorphs thing with it. Like, oh, that, that's, what, that's what he did here. They have, that's exactly what Ethan did in in his <laughs> thumb too. Like, it's a perfect photo for the animorphs thing because it's got that like like you said, forlorn, kind of angsty kid look to it. Let me uh, real quick bring that up. There we go. <laughs> Vouch. See, it, like it's 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 wonderful. It it for, it does everything you need it to do for that image. It does. It does really. You see the progression. I was never an Animorphs kid. I don't know why. I remember everybody reading the Animorphs, and I was like, this is, they turned into fucking. Animals. I was never personally into it. I like. I, I was more of a Goosebumps person, and I, I don't really like horror stuff. But Goosebumps is just good storytelling. I uh man, Goosebumps is great. I believe is it Alan and Ginter? Let me see. I was thinking about buying uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever heard of the Alan and Ginter uh card series? No, I've not. So you know how like normally sports cards have like sports people on them? Yeah. But then there's one set of uh trading cards that are like just completely random fucking people. <laughs> so, like <laughs> This is this is a swatch of of R.L. <laughs> Stein's shirt encapsulated on a trading card from the Allen and Ginter series. Like, look, it's just R.L. Stein. I'm like, oh man, I kind of want to. I want to. Is it like a on... rookie? Uh, it is a rookie yeah, card. It's, 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 rookie it's card. his only card. It's literally. I mean, he's not a rookie, but it's his only trading card. I, I, I'm. <laughs> 
Who doesn't want to <laughs> sign auto one of one? R.L. Okay, Stein. So I'm immediately interested in this. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want more. I want to know more about these cards. Uh, uh, I have. Which, which What's the guy? Uh, I'm a big uh, Guided by Voices uh, fan. You know that band? <laughs> uh, oh, God. Was Robert Pollard not in the Allen and Ginter uh, set? Tops. Tops. There is a Robert Pollard card, and I mm. bought a couple of them. Uh, yeah, there. Oh, Goodwin Champions <laughs> is the rival, of course, to Allen and Ginter. So Goodwin you can Champions. get. Yeah, Goodwin Champions and Allen and Ginter. That's where you get. And I'll be like, yeah, look, George Washington Bush, you know, get that rookie card. Uh, and I could go down this rabbit hole all day. Point is, Vouch, the horseman. He loves them. He loves the horses. Uh, how does he? What? Where, where does he go from here? He says he's going to create a statement. He's going to make a video. Yeah, he said this. he's making a. I saw it earlier. He's making a response video. Is that's that's a terrible idea. Like, well, what do you say? What do you? Yeah, I looked at horse porn. Like, that's yeah, the video. yeah. How do you respond to? And the thing is, it's not just. It's not just that. Obviously, there's a whole history of him saying questionable shit. Um, he said and, some very weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it's very, very questionable. And then the thing that he does is he tries to make it as though he's like making an argument against capitalism. Yeah, and that's the thing that I, I I probably hate the worst about it. Well, not the worst, but it's 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 if you separate the most objectionable object things from it, that's probably the thing that bothers. Me. There's some clear things that bother me more than him using it as an anti-capitalist argument, but. Him saying, like, the idea that uh, mining cobalt is somehow the same thing as uh, as downloading. It's, yeah, it's one. ethically the exact. Yeah, no, a, a, said, it's not. <laughs> and, no. and B, what you're doing uh, as you're sitting on your computer, which has tons of cobalt in it, and you're eating chocolate, which was also he, he somehow yeah. targeted chocolate. Um when you're doing all that stuff, you're you're saying the no ethical consumption under capitalism meme is your excuse to look at child porn is basically what you're doing. Here. <laughs> it's well, just, it's, it's yeah, not it's not good. <laughs> it's him trying to be maybe a little too big brained and going like, "Well, my computer was uh, produced with child labor, so how can I be upset if someone looks at child pornography?" And you're like. I can think of a couple different ways you can yeah, be upset I, about I, that. I, I can think of a way <laughs> to be upset about that. Yeah. Actually, like, you know what? I didn't have to think. It, I just right. was. I was upset about it. <laughs> you could just go, you could go, hey, I'm upset by both of these things. But it's yeah, that you go. And, and, and here's the thing <laughs> um, you can mine minerals. Yeah. Uh, like without, without like, child slavery hold on hold on that. i've seen the rescuers and you need a little kid to go in the <laughs> hole to get the diamonds okay i know that all right that is the plot of the whole movie that's why they got to kidnap that kid or is that rescuers too <laughs> that was a that was a very highly specific <laughs> reference and I'm they really make that they kidnapped the little girl because they, they can't get in the cave they did where the yes. diamonds are so yes. they have to kidnap it, was, kids. it was basically the plot of snow piercer as well except <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was we need kids to make the engine run. Like, it's, it's the same, and and like, but here's the thing: you really don't actually need a child to do either of those things. You can put somebody's arm in the machine, and you can put like there are people who are not children who probably can fit their arms into the hole and yeah. pull out the diamonds or whatever. Well, you said stick their arms in the hole, and I went, wait, which argument? Which part of this equation are we talking about now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I if we're, we're talking about into that kind of stuff, that's still not as bad as like wanting to be a horse screwing kids. Here's why like, Vosh. Here's why Vosh drives me crazy. I think he's a liar. I think he's a liar. I think he'll have a bad take, and I don't think he like washes his hands of the take. I think he. Well, I mean, he goes, "Oh, I've changed my mind." You know, I was crazy when I said that. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I kind of think you still believe it. This is Vosh saying, uh, "I never know how to pronounce it." He says Vosh, right? Vosh. I think it's Vosh. I don't know. Vouch. I've heard I've heard people say Vosh. I've heard yeah. people say uh, Vash. Vosh. I don't know. I can't say it. I'm not from Massachusetts, I guess. The way I see it. Oh, hold on. This is me Vash. quoting him. Nobody take this out of context. Someone's going to do that. Uh, the age of consent exists out of respect for uh, power imbalances older people have over younger people. 
As those imbalances are redressed through the advent of socialism, the age of consent should therefore be lowered. So basically, once we've achieved a socialist utopia, there's so much equality that you can begin having uh, sex with uh, younger people. Is, is that, something... Did Marx uh, speak on that? Was that in any of the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's all Marx ever talked about was how we're all going to be able to fuck kids because the power <laughs> is fixed. <laughs> once the power is fixed. Yeah. Uh, then we fixed you're... the power thing. So, so every other like thing that you think of, it's just fine now. Uh... No, that's not. I mean, obviously, that's not Marx. That's not right. That absolutely <laughs> fucking ridiculous. It, is it all right that I curse on here? You can curse. Yeah, I didn't yeah, think about. Trust that. me, I'm gonna curse way more than you will. I'm sure. Okay, it's it's okay. So first off, the problems that Marx addresses are, are entirely in like relationships to means of production. Not to get too boring or anything. No, but it's. Good. I want it's, the it's, context. It's good. Okay, well, it's not about. You know, whether or not Marx himself is is happy to say, like, inequality is important. There are power over other people by virtue of, like, some people are handicapped. Some people are just bigger than other people. Some people are stronger. It's just it, you can't have legitimate, complete e equality. Like, the ideal that some people try to say that we should have, it's it's not possible. The thing that, and that's basically what Vosh is getting at here. The idea yeah. like, okay, well, we're going to create a situation in which children have the same type of power as adults, which is, by the way, not good. Like, take No, the, you don't want take, that. <laughs> take, the child, take the child porn and, and, and sex exploitation crap out of it. Like, I should be able to stop a child from walking into the street. Like, I should have the power over them to say, stop. You're going to get hit by a car. Like, yeah, it, it's a parent. And, and I have two kids and it's absolutely fucking ridiculous that we would talk about this in a, in the idea like, oh, well, you know, those kids should be given the type of power that's necessary for them to make sexual decisions. So do you think, uh, I mean, what, so what is his response going to be? I mean, I don't even know what he's going to try and say here. Oh, I think he's uh, going to uh, try he's going to try to dig down in this idea that it's not it, he's not defending child porn or having child porn or but he's just got so many examples of him saying you know like that that one quote where he said uh, there is no ethical or legal argument about I don't see any valid ethical or legal argument against possession of child porn or some shit like that which yeah. is just I, I'm sorry, there's no context that makes that okay. Unless the thing that you said right before that was the next thing I'm going to say, I mean the exact opposite of. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just play that so everybody knows what we're talking about. This should be the clip here. Uh, this is uh, Vouch equating buying a computer to buying CP. Let's see if this is the right clip. Okay, so if you were to... So, you know, there's pedophiles right who buy child pornography mm -hmm. would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that yes really even though mm -hmm. they're directly supporting child rape yeah i think that's it's uh, it's hypocritical if if i because I, I bought my computer and the silicon in it was farmed in africa by slaves right. if i can do that and that's legal that's... and no one's going to call me out in my shit then yeah i have to be consistent in that respect okay like he's making this argument as though it's somehow like he's so ethically consistent like can't we have to he's, appreciate he's his consistency. denigrating the purchase of the computer well no yeah. no you're not denigrating the purchase of the computer because you purchased the computer you did that like you you're you're saying that that's so bad and, and we shouldn't be judged for that um the that at least that's the implication of saying right uh saying that and also having a computer uh, so you're also by proxy making the argument that you shouldn't be judged for this. And also he directly makes it, which by the way, congrats on making vegan gains, not look like a fucking insane person. <laughs> how do you make, so, how do you make vegan I, I, gains not look like, I mean, a you're giving him a layup. Guy. You're giving him a layup at that point. Like, do you think child porn should be illegal? No. Oh, oh I think I win that. I think I win vegan one. gains. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly. Easy. Moves up the tiers in the tournament, man. 
Now, like so, so is he saying he's a? Uh, does, is does he feel bad that his computer was mined from child labor? Like it's it not like know. he's almost excusing it. He's like, well, I, I just, feel you know, like I he, I, that. So, well, you know, he's rhetorically saying that that's a bad thing, but he's, I mean, at the start of it, he said, I don't think that the uh, child porn consumer who didn't pay for it should be held responsible. So basically, yeah, he's excusing it. Like. It, whether he's intending to excuse it, I don't know or care, but the effect is more important to me than the intent. That being said, the intent seems like he's probably trying to excuse it to me. Like, you don't start off by saying, I don't, I don't think that it's a bad, I don't hold them responsible for having. You know, like, you, no. And I'm the person, not the only I time he's that. made, he's made that argument multiple times. Too. A lot. No, multiple yeah. is an understatement. It's been a lot of, like, I found a thread that is just like links of, to videos, like repeatedly of him making the same argument. And I've, I've spent a long time arguing against like the usage of the um, no ethical consumption thing. I think yeah. that's a stupid phrase. I think that it's idiotic because I think that arguing the ethics of consumption is it's so far removed from power. It doesn't matter at all. Like and, and people say, well, that's the reason why we say that. We say no ethical consumption because there is nothing that you can consume that's ethical. I don't care what's ethical. It doesn't even fucking matter to me. Like yeah. in terms of what you can purchase, uh, it, it, commodities, he loves using the word commodities, um, probably because Marx uses the word commodities. I, I feel like it's like, ah, that's a nice key word. If I say it, I sound smart. Um it, it, there's no there's no good argument that comes from debating the ethics of consumption. It's just, it's whether you say like, well, there's nothing ethical, so we need to excuse people. No, because that's not how people hear there's nothing ethical. People hear there's nothing ethical. That means I'm unethical for doing whatever I'm doing. And if you're trying to make the argument that it's not unethical, it's just, it's all unethical because of capitalism, then you're also saying, Here's here's where we get to the child porn thing. You're also saying that that should be excused. Like it, you can't. No matter what way you go with the argument, it ends in in somewhere stupid. You need to make material argument. If you're going to talk about capitalism, you're going to talk about um, the problems. I mean, yeah, there it. are like there are reasonable critiques of capitalism. I think everybody has reasonable well, critiques. Of capitalism. You can use math instead of ethics. I think. I think sure. that's a much much. More reason. I try to use math. There's uh, when you talk about automation and you talk about um, inflation. You just point at the fact that wages haven't kept pace with inflation. I think anybody understands that that's inherently unreasonable. And it, it's, uh, it's 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 not even something that people have to think about either. Like the oh right yeah well I can't I go to the the grocery store and everything costs like three times as much as it did three years ago. Why the hell is that? Um, well, yeah, why do these companies <laughs> put out, you know, a press release that says we just had our best quarter yeah, exactly. ever and we're going to fire like 50, uh, uh, 100 people? And like, well, no, that's let's talk about ethical consumption. Let's talk about whether or not it's OK to consume. No, yeah. shut up. Who cares? Why are we talking <laughs> about that? Yeah, I mean, see, this is uh Vosh is an idiot for a number of reasons. Uh, I was trying to find these clips, though. I mean, he's really buried himself because there's these clips, and maybe I'll find them, I'm not sure, Or he basically says, you know, anybody who has this kind of content on their computer, you got to watch out for them because they might be yeah, whatever. He did say that a lot of yeah. times. Yeah, and you're like, <laughs> you're like, well, that sounds like a lot of cope now that we know uh, that you're downloading goblin pictures. Speaking of goblins, let's see if he's uh, ready to go here. Andy, can I bring you in? Give me a wave. There he is. Andy uh, is. Hey, Andy, how you been? What's up? How's it going, man? I'm good. I'm, I'm learning about this Vosh character. Do you not know any <laughs> of this? No, I mean you brought me in for Madam Web, and I'm I but like, we're talking about Vosh. That seems we'll talk about fun. movies and so, we'll we'll talk about Madam Web in a second. I, I can I can always bash somebody who's got a kitty porn on his computer well yeah, i don't want to make again it takes no yeah. thought these people I'll... these people who are defending this <laughs> you know like they, they come in and they try to not like the cuties i haven't even seen it 
they start what trying to tell, they say, well, this thing is worse than this. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing you then, can say. There's nothing you can say after you say, well, child porn is okay. There's just nothing you can say. Why, well, why to, even try? He needs to say, I'm a, I'm a freak and a weirdo. Uh, he hasn't made a response stuff. like to it yet? He, he, well, he his streams. response was to say that he thought they were goblins, which is a bad... I saw response. that. That was all he said. He hasn't done like an actual... He says he's going to make like a two-hour response stream. Oh, how will, how does it take two hours to go? He should break out a ukulele while he does it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea, honestly. No, <laughs> no. It, trying to be funny would probably help a little, but I, I'm not sure how. I mean, he's got to take the shit. You got to look. There's no. You can't walk it back. You got to go. He basically admitted he, that he enjoyed it on a sexual level. Okay. Now I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what? Maybe he was. Uh, I I don't know. I don't even know what I would say. Well, you know, he maybe said there was that. There, I've seen all of these clips. There's the one clip of him saying, "Well, we've all accidentally jerked it to to Lolly." Before. I did see that thing, and it's I'm like, like, no, I'm like, no, I haven't though. No, I'm like, we all have not, sir. Now I was on a stream yesterday, and someone's like, Vito, you you uh, enjoy Japanese erotica, and I go, of course. And they go, and sometimes you're on the site. And maybe something like that pops up, and I go, "Yeah, but you just you scroll past it until you get to what you want. You don't you don't pull a vosh and go. Well, it's in front of me. I have no choice but to. Uh... <laughs> it exists, and therefore I have to have it. <laughs> People are always like, "Yeah, the Japanese are crazy. They make crazy stuff. It, I don't know how they keep getting away with it." Uh, but I think in America, we thankfully have different standards for what we consider acceptable. Uh, and this, you know, hey, what are you going to do? Argument doesn't really seem reasonable to me. I'll say this. I don't think he's done anything criminal, you know? Oh, I uh, think, well, at least by the standards of probably most places. I don't think I like it is the kind a, of thing, though, persistent... where if he says I got a job, I'm working at, you know, a preschool. I'd go, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, no, sir. No. If he said that I got a job attending the horses at the ranch, I'd go, no, nope, no, no, no. <laughs> shut it down. Uh, it's a very weird situation. It's weird how many people are getting drawn. We, we we have a weird internet community where we have guys like Ethan Klein, Keemstar, uh, everybody seizing upon this. Uh, it is, and it is, you know. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm like, I'm a scumbag. Uh, my, my encounter with Vosh was actually, you know, I tried to be friends with that guy. Uh, we had a minor disagreement because he was very upset with uh, Mr. Girl, a colleague of mine. And he said, I hate you. I want nothing to do with you because you're friends with perverts. So now I see this and I go, well, it seems like you're friends <laughs> with perverts uh, yourself. Kind so of a projection do? type situation. Yeah, so, it's a lot like... of project. It feels like projection. And that's what I think it drives me nuts about uh, Vosh is uh, he lies. He's a liar. He knows he's a liar. <laughs> Uh, he's constantly projecting on everyone. Real quick, I got a couple super chats here. James Gardner says Vito is an upstanding individual. Thank you, James. Johnny Rockets here says, Does Vosh want the horse to be his wingman, or does he want to be the horse's cuck? The wife is, of course, underage. Excellent. He wants to be the horse. He, I, I don't think. Does he, he say he wants man. to be the horse? Or the horse is fucking kids the horse? in the pictures, though. Not yeah, the, I I can't I don't know how old the kid the, what's who's getting whatted by the horse okay but there is a horse and it's having sex with uh, indeterminate anime ladies I've seen that uh, it could be a situation though where he does want to be you know watch the horse he wants to see that happen like a donkey show in Tijuana I get that <laughs> we've all been to those Andy <laughs> me and you went to that one we had a good time <laughs> Andy doesn't want to get canceled. Uh, we've all, we've all accidentally jerked it. Some, well, well, no, what the hell? No. The, qu the question. Okay, so here's the other question. Because I was discussing this with people, they're like, "Well, clearly this is going to impact uh, his career as a YouTuber, as a personality, as a political guy." And I said, "I don't think so, because I think he's mostly streaming." to uh weirdos and perverts anyway yeah his community is people who are like defending this like yes where are they uh, gonna go fervently and we've seen uh tipster who andy i know you know tipster i know you guys have a contentious relationship also keffels uh I don't beloved have a relationship, just to clarify i don't have a relationship with tipster 
Okay, I don't know. I thought you guys had he, a. Tip he's made at some one videos point. about me, but I don't give a shit about him. He's made. I think he made a video about me at some point. Tipster refused. I tried to get Tipster to come on the stream tonight, and he said no. And I'm like, "What do you mean? You've been tweeting about this all week. Come on the stream and talk about it." And he's like, "I, I don't want the drama." And I'm like, "Oh, come on!" <laughs> Literally, his whole brand. <laughs> it's his whole trend. I hate when these guys go. I don't want the drama. And I'm like, "But you do. I know you do." Uh, they want we the see, uh, well. Yeah. It's it's not wanting not wanting the drama. It's not wanting the, the like. There's there's three people on here right now who would obviously hear anything that he has to say in defense of this and go, ah, that's bullshit. I'd, I'm, I'd say, look, I'm the one, look, I know a bunch of weirdos and psychopaths, okay? I don't always approve of what they like, and I don't want to know what they're looking at on their computers. But, you know, I was assuming they're not breaking the law. I'm willing to uh, excuse it and go, okay, you're a weirdo, and I don't want you, you know, working at the horse ranch, but hey. Uh, keep it to yourself. And I don't <laughs> there, care. There's lines okay. to draw. Here. <laughs> there's lines to draw. Okay. If you go, hey, you want to come over? I'm having a costume party. I go, yeah, what costume are you going to be wearing, you psychopath? Uh, <laughs> we can see Vouch has lost uh, 7,000 subscribers from That's 471. Pretty good. That's, that is a significant drop. People don't realize that when you see 471,000 subscribers, you have to assume maybe half of those are active if you're lucky. You know, probably have, a lot like, less. Two hundred forty thousand, and I get like a few thousand views on. Yeah, video, well, me so and you, like, me <laughs> and me and Peter have the same problem. Where a lot of our uh, subscribers came to us, you know, years ago, <laughs> many many years ago. Yeah, so when I was twenty three. When people go, hey, you have to a widow, two hundred fifty thousand subscribers, and you only got one hundred fifty people watching. I'm like, that's pretty good because I, I, yeah. I hate that. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with yeah, that. Yeah, all those people who found me through the annoying orange time I was on it. Uh, yeah, they're they're real interested <laughs> oh, in me talking about there. fucking How did you Karl do an Marx. annoying orange? Yeah, I was on annoying orange. I was onion a couple of times. Oh, that's right. I knew the name was familiar. Vito was like, oh, I, I didn't know you from your current stuff. But yeah, Peter's, I, I wrote uh, Peter's old school. Yeah, you're just YouTube like all man. of my subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very Andy, one of the biggest Andy's old school YouTube, one of the most popular videos I've done on the internet was an annoying orange episode. I wrote one called Lady Pasta. That oh, oh I, I remember that one actually blew up the internet. Uh, Peter, if you don't know Andy, uh, well, I know I know Lady Pasta. Andy's I don't know Andy. Everyone knows Lady Pasta over me. It was pretty epic. Everybody knows Honest Trailers. That was your thing. You oh, nice. I'll nice, take credit Andy. for that. Yeah, that was uh, my baby. So I've was watched a ton of those. Being pillaged and pilfered over. And then they before. stole it from him because they're they're evil. Uh, so Vosh has lost 7,000 subscribers. It's not good. But like I said, he is uh, streaming to an audience of mostly weird, uh, mentally challenged children who enjoy... A uh, man lecturing them about communism while he plays Metroid, which I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> it's it's very weird to see him be like, this is, a, this is a serious debate. I don't know why you're not taking this debate seriously. It's like, motherfucker, you are playing Metroid right now. This can't be that serious a debate. Uh, I think this is the kind of thing where, look, he's never going to live it down. Anytime he's uh, has one of these debates, someone's going to go, yeah, but you look at horse porn and he kind of, you know, what are you going to say to that? You, know, <laughs> you look at horse porn. Uh, so an unfortunate situation from there. But ultimately, I can't I can't imagine this being the end of Vosh. Uh, definitely no, hurts hard for him. him. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the you hit the nail on the head. with Like, it's a community of people who are fine with this. That's why he has that many subscribers. They've all huddled around yeah. that one. If you've seen any of those chat logs from his Discord, they're all him being like weird, saying tons of weird shit, talking about like fucking eleven year olds and shit. It's it's, I mean, he does. I don't know that he does it, right? Uh, but he sure talks about it a lot. Andy, you've never encountered Vosh at all. I mean, you've seen him around. I assume never, never heard of the guy. You've never heard of the guy. How is that possible? I guess you're just busy talking about celebrities and whatever the hell else. Yeah, no, he hasn't been uh, on my radar. <laughs> well, he's having he's having a big tiff with uh, what do you call it with the H three H three with Keemstar. Is he he's uh, big Keem enough for H three H three to be mad at him? Yeah, like H three all... has done two episodes on him at this. I'm point. gonna real quick. Where am I? I mean, whenever H three three Ethan loves to just lean in on anybody, he's gonna. If a beef works, yeah, I don't. I, well, I, somebody money, told money, me money. they were becoming friends because they both love Israel or something. But then now, uh, 
That is not People true. Still like Ethan, he's like a love or hate these days on the internet, isn't he? Well, I think he's realized this is a way to get back in the good graces. Uh, yeah. People, it's, <laughs> I it's think, like, hey, an I easy think target. The All right. Pedophiles is fairly. Uh, it's, it's even if it's not actually idea. like I, I don't I, I don't know or care really what's going on inside his head. This is a very simple uh, open and shut case. Like what you're doing here, it, it's it's not something anybody else wants to see you or hear about or you're do. weird you're a weird yeah you're weird someone you're weird for, yeah. fuck chat, you for this you put a chat tell us the truth did you know who vosh vanush whatever this guy is leave Vinoosh. a comment <laughs> i'm gonna read the comment i'm gonna see if we you know, if, if i'm crazy well we also Bash. have joining us uh real quick is a top load gaming who also says he's been catching up on this story is that uh top What's load, up? Were, just, were you watching nick diorio i believe yeah, I was watching the Nick stream a little bit. I still Eddie, don't feel Nick like Nick Diorio I'm... is streaming to twenty five hundred people about uh, Vosh. Okay, this is the most important uh, story of our He's generation. Nick Diorio, you don't know Nick Diorio? He's a fat kid who uh, makes stupid videos about how he hate like all of YouTube is poison. It's actually probably good you don't know any of these idiots. <laughs> Uh, real quick, I do want to show you. Yeah, if you I, don't, I used to. Is, I don't. I don't think that's a bad thing. Andy, I do want to show you. This is how H three H three covered the news. Let's take a look. Okay. Always, a, I like that a pokey outfit. Welcome yeah. to the H podcast. <laughs> <Woo -wee! laughs> we got ourselves a whole barn of a show out here today, boy. That's right. <laughs> Hi, little sister. That, nice that's committing to the bit, Vito. That is committing to the bit. I gotta be. I gotta be honest. I'm. I'm going. I feel like a lazy podcaster right now. He needs to pro turn profile to really appreciate it, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does he ever turn his head? Let's see. My name's he Ethan does. Klein. Today, He's got the horse brush. <laughs> Thank you, Dolly. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Today. <laughs> oh, my God. What a nightmare. I don't oh, want to say the go. obvious joke go. here. God. What's well, the I'd obvious talk. joke? Well, technically, he's made it a clay, though. It's a little, but anyway, I don't I know think, how yeah. H3 can sit by that horse like that. Well, I just hope when they find I mean, all my you, babies, you think that horse is attractive? Joke. No, I'm not a. I'm not a. I've seen some. Look, I've seen some fursuits on the internet where I go, I get it. Okay, but this is not one of them. Uh, some of some of the this furries not doing it for you. No. <laughs> I'm like, look, I get it. Like a My Little Pony with big tits, I'm, I'm there with you. But this, you're not putting in the effort. It's not what about fair. annoying orange? You know, <laughs> hot or not? No, 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 no. Oh, here on AliExpress, here we can get one right now. Oh, this is this is Miss Miss Sexy Fox Wolf. You can get anything on AliExpress, guys. Oh, page you uh, wanted cannot be found. Oh, goddamn! Your chat <laughs> Robo guy says, which one's the horse? Ouch. <laughs> I was thinking that when I saw it and then I didn't. Uh, I mean, but is it, can, can we blame Vosh? I mean, we live in a society which, frankly, everyone seems to have gone insane. Uh, everybody is, some of the porn I see from these people, I'm like, why do you want to see Song Dead Jog blown up like a balloon? And they go, what are you talking about? This is the most erotic thing that anyone could ever imagine. Uh, <laughs> it's just, that's what we want. I'm trying to find. Uh, I'm trying to find a picture. Every once in a while, <laughs> you're trying to find a picture. It's I'm not trying a to find I a want picture. to hear right now. <laughs> okay, no, you don't. Every once in a while, all right. Here's here's. If you ever want to track uh, the downfall of humanity, there is a uh, there's a company in China called Hong Yi Manufacturing. Okay. Every once in a while, I check on in on these guys real quick. Let me go. Okay, so this is. You know, let's say you own a business uh, and you want to have a giant inflatable. Look, it's a giant inflatable bottle of cola, right? This is the Chinese warehouse you go to and they'll make you a giant. Or, oh, it's a, you know, lung cancer awareness. We'll have a that's giant a inflatable lung. Yeah, that's what great. Okay. That's, that's one piece. That's What's that? Cool. It costs $220 to get one of those? Dude, it's the size of a house. It's like gigantic. It's not oh, like, like a little so one. It's like huge. Oh, for so like you're like pumping on your roof up into the lungs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, I don't, you know, you can get them in different sizes. Hi, it's Johnny Knoxville. These, These are, are the big lungs. inflatables. Could we make a right. veto head that's inflatable? Yes. 
Well, the problem is that at a certain point, the inflation furry community found these people. Oh, God. And have been a. Uh... Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> now, Andy, I think this would be good for your house. I think is a. This is a drag. Oh, hold on. Uh, share this tip. This is a dragon woman. You see large. <laughs> this you could get on the back of just for fun, just to ride around. Uh, so what do they do? Are they like? Um, is she pregnant? Is this like AutoCAD? <laughs> like, uh, like, are they, are how are they, they making them? Adding this and then sending it to them, and they custom make these. Well, like, what is happening? How is? The, what I is the they... process that is creating <laughs> these things? I don't know the exact process. Oh man, did they have to hide them all? These have way crazier ones. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they used so, to have it's literally like do you want to have sex with a pokemon we're here to make it happen are there holes <laughs> well you can get the hole that's the oh, point that, you have to, ask. Well, to me that seems like that's why i asked about the autocad thing because if you send like a drawing there's no chance that you get holes i feel right. like they have to custom design these holes or something so, i think I, i'll I, Alibaba might have told them, look, you guys can't put the ones with the holes on the website anymore, but I, all right. of these... But guys, I, enough of the holes. Enough with the holes. So well, I can make a big veto head with a hole. With a hole, yeah. The worst part, though, was the, like, 20-year-old Chinese intern who had to stand next to it for scale. So imagine Mewtwo with giant tits. Oh, my God. And just, like, a really bored kind of disturbed Chinese girl standing next to it. And I remember this going, is, this is some this form is of my high art. <laughs> this is my job. Weird uh autistic. Which is it's not ethical. It's not ethical that we it's not ethical that we force women into that situation. Yeah, it's, why it's, is, it's for the same reason why <laughs> why is Vosh not talking about this? This yeah what, exactly this is the ethical uh oh here we go okay well, I don't know if I can show this, but it's on YouTube, so I must be able to. This is from Inflated Girl XOXO, and this is the kind of... Is this ethical to force Chinese people to make you a giant inflatable My Little Pony that with giant... <laughs> what is poor this? woman. I just... I <laughs> like that it's called Big Booby Pinkie Pie. Like, the, the choice of words is booby. <laughs> And this is this is this is why I'm no That's longer speechless. shocked by anything. I'm like, well, I mean, if people are doing this, uh, what do we do? We're already dead. This is we're dead as a society, as a, the human race. We've gone too far. I like the title that it's my first custom and like it, it's a <laughs> celebratory <laughs> moment. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't made these videos, Vito. You are I should just make these this videos about content. we've always wanted on Vito YouTube channel. Hold on, I just want to see trying candy everything. coated. I can't believe you didn't buy one of these and review it. Is she gonna get inside the whale? Do you get inside it? Some of How these you get inside them. Because the, her weird oh, her, yeah. her boyfriend for whom this is clearly his kink is going to help her. There he is <laughs> with the ponytail. Yeah, I know oh, who bought this thing. It ain't her. <laughs> she, she's not the one buying these. Ponytail guy is. <laughs> if you could have I could have drawn the person <laughs> who was behind that. There it is. And he has a Twitch sweatshirt, which makes it infinitely worse. Oh my god, they're gonna suffocate <laughs> her in that. What the fuck is happening? She's gonna be a whale, Andy. This is very okay. And this is basically All what right. Bosch is into, as far as I'm concerned. It just makes no sense. Is she dead in there? No, this kind of a way to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> is she dead? Is that woman dying? <laughs> Andy, for the woman who has it all, have you ever Vito, thought about ice trapping spice. her? No ice spice, okay. <laughs> Have you ever thought about trapping your girlfriend inside of an inflatable shark? <laughs> and he just perhaps like, this is the this is what and he just this has like, forty four thousand views. There? Wait, what? Yeah. Sorry, can you? I, you set all this up, you know What happens when she's in? Well, there? I don't know. Now it's just a close up of her. Like, hold on, I'll get the audio. That's when he goes and he does what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> and what's lying in there? At what like, point it's all are you actually allowed to kick this shame? This man is irritated with him. <laughs> <his same laughs> when are you allowed mother. to kick I have no idea what she's How saying. How is she breathing in that? What is her top video? Let's find out. She's got to have like a tube. Like, most popular. A tube. Most popular is the inflatable shorts. Okay. Let's see this. Inflatable. 1,000 views. <laughs> inflatable shorts. 
inflatable Only shorts. Only 3,000 okay. subscribers. That just looks like normal shorts. I don't see how this is going to be. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you're not even plugged in. She's, <laughs> She's pumping the, the air. Ready. It's not She's even... Gonna... They're not even like that big. What's the point? I thought it was gonna be like that, that's just to that's look it? like you're in the SNL I'm 50 sketch. Like yeah, you're, come you on. go out and oh, yeah, ah, I was expecting like a big uh big butt there. I yeah. don't know, man. I'm always uh i it's clear that uh cartoons wait and play anime, the movie one. I want to see the movie one. The one with the Milo Pony? Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's 60 minutes long. Man? What part do you want to see? All 16 minutes and 44 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> <Not doing that. laughs> I want to hear what she. How does she justify this? Justify it. Her boyfriend is pervert. <laughs> I want her <laughs> arguments. <laughs> what are her axioms on this one? Custom order with honey for a while now. Custom order. It took me a while to think of like what I really wanted. Um, and more than anything. Things around. Like at first, I thought maybe I want to get my own Gudra because the. Gudra that I filmed with in the past. What the fuck is a Gudra? It did not belong to me. So I wanted like a kind of a big booby inflatable animal or okay. something like that. All right. Brian. Some kind of character. So we figured that from the title. For another Gudra, but maybe different colors because I've seen them. Okay. Uh, listening to women talk is very insufferable. So <laughs> hearing them talk about how, how it, six minutes of why I wanted to get a giant boobed pinky pie. <laughs> Uh, I wanted okay. to get a big booby yeah, pinky wait, pie. Wait, Here's why. Are. Play it again. You want to, you want to see what? I wonder. We, why would she have the boobs up? I want to see what she says about the oh, boobs. I was going to let her inflate it. Yeah, now it's here. There, right there. Hold on, hold on. There. She's inflating it. Okay. Oh, it's a time lapse. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a so, DIY. So this took a long it's a complicated time. complicated thing to blow up. I wonder if she does have an OnlyFans. That's a good question. She must fuck these things on OnlyFans. That's how you make the money. Booby Pinkie Pie. <laughs> they have a good attitude no about one. it. So this is what do you think? She, what do you think she does? I don't know. Andy, what, what did she do with it? So, I, 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 I would think that you'd use this for. Uh, you relax and you watch the big game. You show up at Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, I mean, what is she gonna do with it? As I understand I it, breasts are very good uh, support for sitting. Oh, no, they're not. They're actually not that. Um, I mean, I assume yeah. that she's just, you know, it's like a girl riding a horse. Oh, there you go. There's the sexy hole. Okay. Oh she has no use for right. that. But she does have the holes. Oh, have the holes. my God. That is so fucking weird. It's for it's bringing Kelly, the friends like over. Like have the friends like over. A, that's like the, 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 what's that called? The belly button. <laughs> Okay, we find out that Vosh is going to be at like a public event. Can we crowdfund an inflatable horse and chase around with it? <laughs> but that, that, this Vosh, one is not like well, the other ones. She can't. She can't get inside this mask, one. Uh, Vito. I don't think she can get inside this one. No. Boobies. Um, uh, Boobies. This is, this is horrifying. And you can Boobies. never have cats because they'll destroy this thing in two seconds. I used to have an inflatable mattress. <laughs> Vito says from experience. From she's I well, that's why she gets cats Well, there's two reasons. Two seconds. There's two reasons why she gets inflatable cats instead. Firstly, yeah. they're not going to destroy her inflatable dragon with huge boobs. Secondly, she can get huge boobs on the cats. All right, I want to see. How, can I see how much she's making on OnlyFans, or is that like secret? <laughs> oh, she has it. She okay. She has. Confirmed. She has OnlyFans and loyal fans and clips for sale. Uh, how much? I don't even know what clips for sale is. Does she? Uh, like, it I is what it it's sounds the same like. Thing. You buy clips. Yeah, yeah, sale. yeah. I, I mean, does she would have to this subscribe thing to get to these? I mean, the the guy who came up with the clips for sale brand, and it was definitely a guy, definitely a good good at marketing. It's uh, it's got what it is on the tin. Have you gone yeah. through her uh, Amazon wish list? <laughs> no. Did you find? <laughs> is it all inflatable crap? <laughs> Okay, here we I go. I don't think so, Amazon has what she wishes for. No, it's just a lot of cosplay. That's look, kind of this is this is reasonable for fifteen dollars. Inflatable snake traps Alice. Okay, you don't want that to happen. Oh no! Help! <laughs> Help! 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 All right, we probably should talk to this. So I, someone, balloons. yeah, that's what's hilarious. 
I'm gonna look at her. Amazon I guess wish I'm not supposed to kink shame, right? But man, no. I'm gonna say that the danger involved with being wrapped up by a balloon snake it's it's just it really doesn't come off the same way as she wants an like, inflatable Barbie float. That's on brand. The snow, the inflatable snowmobile. That's on brand. On her Twitter, okay. she made a uh, she made a 34 minute free video on her inflatable backstory on why she has this fetish. So there you go. Okay. The kind of person I got to get on the show. This is what I should do. Yeah, I just got, I should just interview freaks. freaks huh? Yeah, you really. Why I are you talking time talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got, like, I'm like videos of not, the problem with Wash is he's not talking about the means of production. Okay, you gotta go to her Twitter, Vita, but don't show it on screen. Wait, really? Is it terrible? All right, oh I'm gonna look at her Twitter. Okay. I'll put it in the. Uh, oh no! Is she make it on these things? No, I found not Twitter. Put it on this air. I'm not. I'm not putting it on. <laughs> she's sitting on I an inflatable couch. Wow. What is she doing? What am I? I'm oh, you gotta her. go to video three on her timeline. I'm just seeing a bunch just of her sitting. Up. Show okay, us video Show three. Video Play three. The audio. The Sailor Mercury one. Is that what yes. I'm looking at? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play. Can I play just the audio? You guys can't hear that, right? Uh, I cannot hear it. Thankfully. Oh, I'm gonna want. Oh my god! Ew! What is she just blowing him <laughs> on the? Yeah. Okay. She's, she's blowing him oh on the inflatable god. couch. And now she's blowing up a balloon while stroking his dick. And then using the balloon to jerk him off. <laughs> oh, I get it, because it's Sailor Mercury. She's like the water scout, so she can make bubbles. Thank and then you. she's using the bubbles to uh, massage her lover. Oh, he finished just... all over the bubble. Wait, re... <laughs> why am I'm I looking really... at that? <laughs> I'm going to say, I, I'm not too Betty upset Rubble that has I am not with the uh, wild falling through on this. <laughs> <laughs> so glad that I am learning so much about the world of inflatable and I, uh, I'm pornography. Just you, these everybody's two are on the inflatable Vito. Her costuming is not terrible. Damn, she's got some good costumes. I'd say her Twitter so shows she's got cool neon anything. lights up as well. Like in in the custom inflatable toy, she's got a a, a neat little. Uh, neon light up i think she's got money for that kind of stuff here's some okay here she's linked to not just the uh, she's she's not starving oh, look at what she's doing she's probably rich wow. by now here hold on we have this i is, think this, that's probably correct this is a link from her twitter to puffy paws toys uh that wants you to gotta get us. this woman on your show Vito. we want it she well i, I want to learn about the next two members of the puffy paws family this includes boba the raccoon and chili the red panda these toys are ready for adoption today let's see I assume this is Boba the raccoon. Oh, I, I thought that was a balloon. No, no, that's Chili the Red Panda. And he's, he's this is computer generated, him. I think. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I love the music. The I'm music the really nice. little, yeah, the team. here. There's it's the real like a... Okay. Order's open now. Jesus. Oh, so I'm just, uh, just going to bookmark this one. I, yeah, we, I live in, rush. we live gotta in rush hell to get it. is, I guess, what I'm trying to tell everyone. I'm going to stick to buying a R.L. Stein trading cards. I think that's more my. I like I like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think at the beginning the of this, the beginning where we started. Yes. Oh, I went out Ooh, for a second. There. <laughs> Sorry. You imagine seeing this stuff like back in the eighties as during a commercial break for like pound puppies or something. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like making fun of the name of pound puppies. Like <laughs> pound puppies. Yeah. Because pa pound. they're pounding. They're pounding each other. And now now it's just like these puppies are pounding each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I, this is what I always so what I, I, I always bring up this story because uh Look, I don't consume ethically under capitalism. I use Chinese people to make my stuff. And uh just use them. <laughs> well, I mean, what do, yeah, it kind of feels like that. Okay. I used at one point I made a card game and everyone's like, hey, where's the card game? And I, I said I was like, Oh, here, they're working on it. And I sent them a video of a bunch of old Chinese women assembling it in a factory, and they're like, Well, we don't want to see that. Like, oh, so you want the sausage, <laughs> but you don't want to see how it's made? Like, what do you want? I'm making it in China, okay? Give me I more money, the, I'll make it in America. I want the cards. I don't, I, yeah, don't I, want want the, the cards. I don't want any of the associated nonsense. 
Uh, but this is like, 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 what do you think these Chinese? I feel bad. They're just sitting there in a dildo factory, making dildos all day for for Americans and weird sex toys and whatever else. Uh, here I'm trying to. This is like you know you go on AliExpress. Look, what can the I show? Fuck is, Sorry, I'm, I'm. I okay. The censorship off. is amazing. <laughs> yeah, they blocked <laughs> off parts of that. Is, that is so. <laughs> Dude, she's dressed as Cinderella fucking in an inflatable pumpkin. Why are you still looking at that? We're moving on to Chinese <laughs> dildos. <laughs> are you talking about that woman? We are on. <laughs> it's probably a treasure I mean, trove. Look, it's a hundred pages of dildos that are being like, how many dildo factories are in China? The censorship. I it's it's amazing. Like I want posters of of censored dildos. I probably can't be showing any of this. Uh, let me get off. <laughs> it's of censored. Come on. It's it's fully. It is censored. censored. It's censored. It is. <laughs> uh, and that's that's the capitalist uh, man. I, you know, you're living in a shitty apartment in China. You wake up every day to go to the dildo factory. I feel for those guys. It's, well, I uh, mean, on some level, like think about like you got a bunch of people who live in squalor and filth who get at mcdonald's like that's true that sucks too uh, on the other hand the, the should be fighting for factory. those people <laughs> Vosh should be uh helping helping See, those people 320 I mean, to 500 to me like it seems to me like if you're going to bring those people up that's probably the way to bring it up as opposed yeah. to in relation to the lolicon horse porn you're you're downloading like I, I feel like if you could figure out a way to not mention that part of it and just start talking about like if you've got a problem with labor exploitation that's that's probably the place to start and stop yeah talk about this talk about why if i purchase 500 latex human mouths does the price go down to 750 and does that uh cost get passed on to labor i doubt it I assume the the latex mouth fat cats are taking all that profit. <laughs> Eddie, do you want do you want five hundred of these? Big latex mouth is, is just stream is swimming in so cash. Cool. What's that? This stream Andy. is being so pulled. No, we're looking at a mouth. It's a human mouth. <laughs> I can't look, look at a funny. mouth. Just a mouth. And we're also oh. criticizing the fat cats that that are. Yeah. Are exploiting the I'm workers. Watching inflate a girl have a three way with two inflatables. Yeah, he's under <laughs> Get her on the show. Tell her you want her to come on Popcorn Planet. That'd be a good... We, you know, no, we gotta good. have a whack pack, okay? Because it'd be great if you said, for the celebrity news, we're gonna go to Inflate a Girl, and we cut to her, and she's riding yeah, on a shark. Yeah, that great for the greatest problem in the universe. <laughs> I, I, want to, I want to get the... That's what Tuesday Night Griff's gonna be. You and that dick interviewing Inflate a Girl would be very fun. The psychopaths and weirdos. She could be like a fun um, weather girl. Vosh needs to respond to the allegations. Can you hear that? Hear what? No, you'd have to turn up your speakers. Grinding on her plate and so funny to tell. <laughs> I saw Sailor Mercury jerking a guy with bubbles, and I said, I think I've seen enough. And he's like, oh, my God. I'm going oh, down this know, rabbit yeah, hole. I think you can play this one. I can play which one? Are you, where are you sending it to me? Uh, I think I think this one. Sort of safe. Send it to me in the... Uh, in the nine, nine seconds in. Can you send it to me in the StreamYard chat? Yeah, you you got it shared. Where am I? Lot, private private chat. chat on the right side. Play like nine seconds in, and just so you can hear the sound effect. You said five seconds in. Nine seconds in. Nine okay. seconds. Can I show? Can I show the video? Lord, be careful. A little see through. This one might be better. Can I show the video? It's pretty amazing. I don't I think can... so because he said be careful with see through. What am I careful with? Okay, hold on. It, well, I, I mean, she's not naked. She's wearing a see through plastic shirt. So go okay. to. <laughs> My when I listen to that song, I I found, the found the perfect summer <laughs> outfit for playtime. We're gonna crank the sound. It crank might sound like I'm oh oh I God. know it sounds like I'm opening a bag of chips, but this is from Careful, the video. Come, in the head, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just good family fun. Wow, There's that's people just were good. Like Oh, no, this is off the rails. Wonka, 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 wonka. She's licking it. Wait, play the second one. Play the second one. What's this? Oh, you got me another one? The second one's, I think, safe. Yeah. 
What do you mean I think so? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get my whole channel banned. Okay. What is she saying? She's making out with the fox. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Robert, this is what Vosh is into, everyone. Ask Vosh why he downloads this. Is, this. this is not as bad as what Vosh is into. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost wholesome and fun. This, is, like, this yeah. is vaguely wholesome in relative to what Vosh yeah, yeah. She's just having fun. She's got a little toy. She's got that, 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 that's just annoying yeah. sound. She's that's, just, that's the problem here. She's just scissoring and inflatable. There's no giant yeah. horse cock <laughs> covering a bunch oh, of guys, anime women in jism. They're just having fun, and that's what we like here on this channel. They just uh, want it. They just want it. <laughs> Acker says, this is my first time tuning into this. I love Vito's videos. What is going on here? <laughs> well, no that's a good question. <laughs> I think uh, I think we're just oh, learning. Vito, we're learning. Oh God, you got to get this. Oh my God, this is amazing, Vito. Oh, you, got, you got another one? You got another one for me? You're really, really <laughs> kind of mining this woman. Hold <laughs> on, hold couch. on. And the dude sits in the couch so he can watch. He sits in the couch. Okay, you know, but I don't. Oh I'm not see his this, penis, right? He's okay. getting cooked by the inflatable. Oh, no nudity in this. It's a safe. Okay, Look okay. at that. Oh, I was going to ask if it's an inflatable couch. I was going to ask. It's an inflatable ask. couch. Oh. couch okay, so you... <laughs> oh, my God. Your head there. He's in the couch. The <laughs> roles are now reversed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I think you can ask him. You can say, <laughs> oh don't make God. it transparent because I want to hide inside it. And you can get one so they don't know you're in there. <laughs> Is she German? Inside the... <laughs> That like, guy looks like he's so having many, a real so good time. What's going on here? Oh, here, here it is. I found video. And there's, the no other man in the couch. there's no man in the couch. There's you found video of the couch? Video. Wow, look at this. All right, hold on. There's the video. There's a Ouch. whole head. The video is oh way God. better. Let's see here. One time. Okay, now this is a $420 <laughs> for chair suits. After that, normal price, $1,300. Oh, we got to get one now, guys. Okay. You can have. Look at it. Somebody can sit there and watch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cha a couch suit. Yeah. So you can have inflatable. Look at how, look at how pleased he is. He's so pleased He's with himself. So... Hi. Look at him. He opens Hi. up his eyes. He's got... Hi. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. I'm so happy I bought one of these for four hundred dollars. If this exists, you know, you know, a toilet exists, right? <laughs> okay, but here's okay, the problem. No, this what is happens? A toilet. This what? Is yeah, a toilet. Well, that, that's that's <laughs> what makes me say that. But guys, what happens when you know somebody sits over the hole? You know, you can't get any air. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you die in the suit. Anybody you die happy? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. What is happening? Oh, can't breathe. You're going to end up with that situation. So hopefully they've worked out all the kinks. Get it? Kinks? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't worked out any kinks. They're trying to work them out, but they can't stop. Uh... <laughs> Guys, right now from Kenny, go to pay for video too. Only four hundred and twenty bucks right now for chair suits. I'm gonna give these guys a follow just so I can keep up on what's going on. Actually, I should not look at this page without uh, checking it because I don't know what the fuck's gonna be. Yeah, on there. don't scroll down. Like, okay. like there's like there's a there's a second half of that sentence you don't even need to say it. Like you just shouldn't look at the page. Yeah, I was like, hey Vito. That's one happy. That's one happy man, though. That's his bliss. That's his happy place. Looking intently into the camera. Look what I made. Look what I made. I'm here. <laughs> All the guys bought. So here's the thing that we've learned. Uh, you know, because Dick has like uh, some furries in his audience and weirdos or whatever. Yeah. It's all these like autistic programmer guys who have way too much money. Okay, so they they're making like hundreds of thousands of dollars just programming, you know, Microsoft Client Word T-shirts and stuff. Yeah, and then they get off work and they're like, "All right, time to go hump my fucking inflatable whale for a couple hours." Uh, time to go. Okay, in case, this is in this case is my helpful. Significant other in a balloon. 
Yeah. Why didn't you say this? Here, we got safety, safety tips. This is yeah. useful. Okay. Oh, that's good. We know. need safety tips because, you know, this could go wrong pretty easily. I want to know how to stay safe. Let's find out. The thing I want to talk about is safety. You should always have... Oh. I have trouble. Okay, that voice. Ah. I did not expect that voice to come out of this Fox character. <laughs> uh, I expect like a, hey, we're going to talk about safety. <laughs> but, uh... Apparently, hi there. One of these Today, let's talk about safety. Hand inside the suit. <laughs> in case of an emergency, I'll be right back. This on gives it. you a way out. So they have to bring a knife into the suit with them just in case they start to suffocate. Holy well, shit! That's horrifying. You can push the blade out and then pop it through to the outside Is to gonna let all the air it? out. Demonstrate. And then you can cut your. What's that? Demonstrate. Show us the. I don't think he's gonna topic. pop his suit. I, I can't out imagine. By pulling the material away from your body first, and then cutting. You should also have someone as a safety monitor who follows you around. Yeah, yeah it's very easy <laughs> when you get home and you want to hump your inflatable hippo. You call up your safety. Hey, bro, and you, you want to spot me? I'm gonna hump this. I'm gonna hump the purple hippo for the next hour. I need a spotter. <laughs> and then you can have a go. Well, I mean, when you're lifting weights, you can. It is easy to get like the neck thing to happen. Sure, There's sure. Videos of that. Uh, <laughs> suffocating. I'm sure nobody really wants to die inside a, a fucking animal. Suit. No, I mean, I don't want to put it on to begin with, but I definitely don't want to die in the fucking thing. I mean, I can't imagine it is like he must be sweating like a motherfucker in that. No, <laughs> it's gotta be I would imagine inside that thing. They probably like that part, huh? That's probably that's got to be a part of it. You know, that, there's no way that's not it. part of it. All right. Hold on. So what did he say? You should have a spotter. Right. Follows you around like a handler and has a panic signal <laughs> established with you. Sorry, like yeah. I mean, it's not for safety if they're a gets handler. their attention. <laughs> yeah, that's different. To let them know that you need to get out of the <laughs> right. safe word. Safe signals. word. Because <laughs> you're out of what you are they are suffocating you trying to get out of the suit, or is just that your only range of movement? <laughs> hey, he's having a really good time because he's doing this. That's the good time maneuver. Immediately. Pretty much the great thing about like these that. suits is that you can talk. But in a loud environment, you may not be able to hear. Oh, okay. Another good option is a wireless doorbell that you can have in a Ziploc bag so that it doesn't get wet inside the suit what the with fuck? you that you can press to get someone's <laughs> attention. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And he said, anything that can take on water damage, you gotta put it in a Ziploc bag. Why do I why do I picture a bunch of these guys standing around <laughs> their dead buddy and going Man, we got to think of like, oh, like next time, what if we had a doorbell? That's Dude, a good idea. We should do that. The means someone has died. The sweat has must died. be up to their ankles. I think that his phone's warranty has been voided. We probably should have put it into a plastic bag. It's so taking all point, water damage. They had a party. It was too loud. No one could hear Yiffy the fox friend suffocating inside his own fucking inflato suit. Holy shit. They thought he was just really having a good time riding the hippo. He died, and then they came up with the doorbell protocol to keep him alive. <laughs> how how many friends shit. down before how many friends down before they realized <laughs> the doorbell? We gotta come up with something better. <laughs> this is like, this is the our ultra group started response. with like twelve people. We're down <laughs> to nine. That's too many. That's too many. I want I want the FBI statistics. How many people die of auto inflatable oh, no. every year? Three. Coop for two says thank you for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Coop. Uh, we also had oh, Acker for a big ten dollars on the board. Says I love Mariah Carey. Don't we all? <laughs> Dumb username for five says Violent J of the Insane Clown Posse made videos with his furry daughter warning about bad fursuit products. It's called Snake Busters. I believe I've heard of that and I've never actually watched those videos. Are they on YouTube? Is that, a, is that still happening? Snake Busters. <laughs> uh, from the Insane Clown Posse. These are people who are making uh, poor quality fursuits. I'm still trying to wrap around the whole having a furry daughter and then like talking about it with her yeah, and having yeah, to go you know yeah. protocols that's uh you know what honestly, i never yeah go like, ahead 
I have a daughter and I will probably like have to talk to her about certain things at certain points. Yeah. But in terms of of her actual like activities and life with that type of stuff, it's like mm. <laughs> make no. sure you cup the balls, dear. Yeah. Yeah. And then getting That's way fine. past that That's to the fine. point of inflatables. Okay, but here's the thing. You like, you know, should the schools be teaching about the doorbell method? I would say yes. <laughs> Okay. Look, all of your electronics you need to put in to plastic bags. Otherwise, the warranties are going to get voided. You can take them in for, for customers for you can phone. And they're going to say, sir, there's water in this phone. And you're going to say, no, it's not water. It's not water. Pretty soon, <laughs> you're going to have to tell your teenage daughter, listen, if you ever get on a couch, it feels like there's a man in there. <laughs> Quietly get up and leave. Because this guy is just in <laughs> look at his fucking face. Could you have picked a worse expression? Yes. Sit on the couch. I am inside uh, the couch. Let's see. So this is... Uh, Hello. On- I'm inside of a couch. <laughs> so this is this is Snake Buzz. Hold on. Uh, so this is the Insane Clown Posse. But how old is his daughter? Because now I'm like worried. I'm a furry juggalo. I'm dead. I'm a juggalo furry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm I'm she sounds young. She's taking a lot of energy. <laughs> okay, so she's like, I think she's doing furry like for fun. Hopefully, this isn't a sexual thing, but oh my god. Yeah, so let's let's uh what are you looking at? My fresh mask? You clearly like it. I can hear your brain talking to itself about how cool my mask is. Cause this mask was made with quality. This mask was well worth the little money my dad has. My dad likes to front that he's rich, but my mom says he's been broke since the 90s. I wasn't even alive. This is surprisingly Damn. wholesome. <laughs> I'm like, wow, okay. I've met Juggalos. They're like really nice people. It's yeah, fucking they're weird. usually pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, Here we go. So they're going to tell us why we should not buy a fursuit from the Chinese. The snake in the grass Chinese trying to take advantage of our... So I guess maybe it's just me American being a pervert. Energy. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with sex. So well, well, I'm sure that some of the people buying these suits uh, are. Oh, well, for sure. What we thought was a full fledged, high quality furry suit. Oh, they thought they were going to get a good reality, one. What we got was full fledged furry poop because OISK snaked us. They are snakes. We believe snakes. OISK actually stands for outrageously insane snaky crooks i know you're thinking crook isn't spelled with the k that's wrong but so is snake and my daughter right through my can you imagine you're a chinese <laughs> company just trying to get rich off perverts and the insane clown posse makes a video of three hundred thousand people pointing out <laughs> how much these guys are making it. cheap crap and they're and they're just selling it to these perverts like can you believe they're doing can you that believe that can you believe that yeah, I also, like, I also like the, that the insane clown posse has made like the Guns N' Roses logo and put it up. I keep background. looking at it and trying to do like double takes. Like, am I looking at the Guns N' Roses logo? Like, I, yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. They called up somebody, like they called up somebody who custom makes stuff, not fur suits, um, and said like, "Look, we want a big our our logo for the the furry expose show." We want it to look like the Guns N' Roses logo. And somebody <laughs> on the other end is just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you want the Guns N' Roses logo for your furry busting? Your, your, what are you yeah. talking about? What is this? Yeah, we think that would be on brand for us. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll make it, whatever. It, it's just it's just send the money. Send the money. Acker for 1999 asks, what's my favorite Mariah Carey song? Oh, God, I don't even know. Uh, all I want for Christmas is you. See, that's the only one I remember. What are the other? That's what's, the one that I can remember. What's the one where she like uh, the ha 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 one? That one, sure. We belong does that together. In every song. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Always be my baby is probably the one that got the most airplay when I was like. Oh no, I remember that song. Um, now. Always be my baby. Yeah, I remember that song. Anything that's got a shooby dooby doop. I'm in. <laughs> Any song. If, Any song that hits me with a shooby or a doobie, I'm right there if, for it. If you have lyrics in common with uh like any children's cartoon exactly. theme song. Like Scooby, you know, Shooby, Scooby, 
What about a Shoto Shobido? Shubba dubba shibba ding dong. <laughs> Uh, anyway, thanks for the twenty dollars and that bizarre Mariah Carey question. Well, I was waiting for Andy to get back because at some point we were going to talk about the Madam Web movie. Uh, Peter, are you out? A, are you a Marvel person? No, I just I I don't really love Marvel a whole lot. No, uh, I don't think I ever. I I look. I think I I don't know. They were okay. I liked the Iron I think Man movie. Think, I went and saw yeah. the Iron Man movie when it came out, and I was like, you know what? Not bad. Not bad. At I a like certain Robert point, Jr. I started seeing them all because, you know, you can make stupid videos about them and get some traction. But when I really think about it, other than, like, the first Iron Man, actually, like, There's Iron There's a couple Man too, other though. good ones. There's a couple yeah. good ones. Um, There's a couple of nuggets in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Thor stuff is pretty okay. Yeah, yeah. I love Loki. Uh, yeah, Loki. Loki is funny. I think that's part of and like actually funny as opposed to the rest of the Marvel funny. Yes. Um, uh, well, now Madam Web had this trailer, uh, which had a famous line. Have you seen this trailer, guys? The uh, official I trailer for Madam Web, Web is, has eluded me. Okay, real quick. Is this actually the official trailer? I want it. Okay. I'm right, pretty sure on. I've seen all the trailers. Now, Madam Web, uh, apparently in the comics, is see, that's the other thing. I don't know any shit about no comics. But apparently Madam Web in the comics is like an old spooky lady. And they're like, yeah, but what if it was Dakota Johnson? And that's like, the way I remember her from the 90s cartoon. I yeah, remember Madam Web. Like, big white hair yeah. and spooky. And yeah. Spider-Man. No, I want to say I kind of remember that, actually. Hold on, I need to close. I remember the Spider-Man cartoon. What you're describing right. she, is triggering the Spider-Man cartoon. She, she's like right. um, in All another dimension or something, us. you know? Like, Yeah, hey, Andy, you're back. All the inflatables were turning me on so much I had to rub one off. Yeah, you got to get it one out real quick. I get it. <laughs> you heard hey, all trust, the sounds. Trust no, me, I'm in the bowl for dinner, and it just I had to take a shit for real. So you I went over, on. you found your, your inflatable couch and took a shit on that guy's <laughs> face. Uh, real quick. I'm in the couch. Hold on, I'm closing some windows because for some reason I'm, all this inflatable porn is destroying my computer's ability to open pages right now. We're going to get such weird uh, recommended videos now, Vito. Yeah. All right, so now I'm looking. Is this the most replayed? Okay, so the movie is about... Well, Andy, you saw the movie. It's about I saw what? the movie. Her mom's dead. Man, so I was gonna play the famous line. Hot. Can you believe how like unattractive they made Sydney Sweeney? <laughs> is that it Sydney is Sweeney? difficult to? Wow, it's, I was gonna she ask if that was funny. Sydney Sweeney. And it's like she still looks good and she's trying, but they like frump her all up for some weird reason. It's so bizarre. Is that I don't even know if I would call that frumpy because it's it's weird. There's something off about it. She's in like I a schoolgirl skirt and high, you know, high top socks. Like, because because that the clothing in question here, like you could see that on an attractive person, and it, it would appear like it's just normal. It could be normal clothes. It's the hair. I think the hair makes it uncanny in some Dude, weird way. She is. The so hair is like a, that's a clear like, wig, right? Does it so does it have like a payoff her. later in the movie where she like? Is hot or you know makeover no. scene or anything? Oh, no, the wig just flies off at some point. Oh my god, <laughs> real hair! She looks so much better. <laughs> no. All right, so I believe this yeah. is the the famous line from the trailer is like right here. Now there's an evil, spooky guy. It looks vaguely Middle Eastern, uh, and I guess we're gonna hear that about him real quick. How it works. That's how me in I've seen that while. man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. That's called a little too much exposition for one line. He was yeah, with my mom it's, in the Amazon when she was researching spiders right before she died. Just say, he was I'm, with gonna my say mom I'm just going to say this. Like, I'm sure people have commented on how badly acted that line sounded, but there's there's yeah. no way to act that line well. No. no, and I, and that, I that's the say, writing. Like that's I want to say one positive, Vito. Like Dakota yeah. Johnson tries her damnedest. Like I do not fault any of these beautiful women. A lot of I, people involved. 
the script is just so fucking dumb. I actually loved her in, in Black Mass. I know a lot of people don't like that movie for some reason, but I, I loved it, and I loved it, her in it. So there's if more than one attitude to her. I, I really don't dislike her either, and she tries to have a little attitude in this, and she, Dakota Johnson is, like, really trying. I will give her that. It's not her fault. Now, the movie is so unnecessary, so stupid. Do they and mention yet, Spider-Man like, at all? These, like, shots of them... That's no. spider women. That's all. That's it. There's no like more of it. Like they clearly shot this in reshoots to like, shit, we need some spider women in it. They're never in the fucking movie. They're never in the fucking movie. All these all people are not. She, so she's flashbacks like, quickly. Yeah. The premise of the movie. I'm, so I'm not going to spoil, spoil, but nobody cares. That, that, uh, yeah. that middle, whatever that guy, the bad guy sees his death and sees that these three kill him. So he is now set at a because he got some crazy spider from the, the Amazon when his mom or mom was there. So they're all connected now for some weird reason. And he knows they're going to kill him. So we get a flashback of them trying to kill him. And that's it. These three try to kill him. Yes. They never become that. They would never see him again as that. Those moments. So we think there's going to be a whole based on the poster. You think it's going to be a whole group nope. of uh, crazy Completely spider ladies. Like, Dakota Johnson never wears that. She, uh, she never wears this spider-looking no. thing? I mean, wow. I don't want to spoil it. At, I don't the it. At the very end, yes, but the rest of them don't. At the very end. <laughs> so what are her like powers? Does she you have... See Madam Web become Madam Web at the very end of the movie? But no, she never, like, wears that. The other ones never wear those out. It's a complete misdirect. It's so dumb. This These thing? Girls... She never wears this thing with the V here? This, her web. No. this no. poster well, her, looked like... How can her like... web connect them all if she never wears it? This this poster has like an episode of Smallville energy. It looks like shit. <laughs> Who's this guy? Is this, is this Spider Man? Is he's Spider Man? Spider Man for some reason. That's what he wears when he murders. It's, tries to murder. There's, there's an evil. There's an evil Spider Man, and it's the, that the guy. biggest Black problem. Yeah, do you Spider-Man. know who Madame Web is from the comics? Like she's some like old like sees. Yeah, the she's future. like an old hag. Yeah, and so anyway, what's so frustrating is that's the character she can see the future. Why the fuck yeah. would you want to introduce that character into your Spider Verse? Like that's way too powerful. Oh, so we have a character well, that knows everything, and we'll see it coming. Can stop anybody, and that's literally the premise: is her like mastering these deja vu flashbacks to then stop the bad guys. And you're just like, why? So it's not a superhero it. thing, really. It's so dumb. Like, is it? Well, like, does she do any superhero stuff? Does she have no. a web? No. So she's I just feel like, like that. Kind of is the logical like endpoint of. The, the problems they start introducing when they introduce multiverses into stories, though. Well, but it's yet another villain that's not a villain. Sony has right. to take all these Spider-Man villains because it's all they own. And mm. Spider-Man's got a lot of great villains, and they're turning them all into anti-heroes. So Spider-Man doesn't even have any fucking villains anymore. Right. Like, even in No Way Home, they're all good guys now. It's like, what the fuck are they doing? Did so they what, do what, what? Spider-Man? Have you played Spider-Man 2, Vito? Like, that plot's pretty great. Craven the Hunter oh, is... Oh, the, the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't played it, but I've seen it. Craven the Hunter in Spider-Man 2 is vicious. Like, he's just out to murder people left and right, hunt them cold-blooded. But yeah. I'm, I'm sure the new movie, Kept Craven the Hunter, is going to turn him into some anti-hero. And all, all these villains are turning into good guys. I'm like, what the fuck is the point? I would uh, like to murder, except for... Mm, yeah, how I don't know they, about today. How did they screw up the Spider-Man stuff so so hardcore? Well, they didn't. Like, I mean, Spider-Verse is beautiful. Spider-Verse is a cartoon right. series. Is like, amazing. Leave it alone. Even the Tom it's Holland a- movies. I'll give them a shot. Oh, this the, is all these ancillary extra characters are yeah. completely ruining everything. It's their cash grabs. that aren't even they're making that much cash. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's so disappointing. Fans and, just can't yeah, catch a break with like Venom. Actresses, and they mount to nothing. The premise of this movie is so fucking dumb, Vito. She's like, sees them all in a train. Three yeah. beautiful runaways all happen to be at the same time. And nice. she talks them into running away from a man who's about to kill them. It makes no fucking sense. And then they're well, all... It's run. good that she was able to convince them. <laughs> it makes no fucking sense. It makes no fucking sense. And they don't even let out like a little bit. Uh, there's one scene <laughs> where they dance to Britney Spears in a table and they're like lifting Sydney Sweeney's shirt up a bit. Ooh. And I was like, finally. And then it really no, it goes oh. nowhere. Ah, it's PG. So is it like a murder mystery thriller? What, There's no what is, action. There's yeah, no I was gonna action. say it, it sounds like a, a mystery. Like a, like a if she can see movie. everything. Yeah, it's more of a thriller with some like you know. There's some ch- chasing and stuff, but the action is so minimal. 
I was going to say it sounds like frequency. Huh. That and he has a dad in a radio. Third act with all the action that just was so dumb. Well, uh, we have not talked about this, but right now, 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's generous. Uh, is that lower than Ouch. Morbius, the living vampire man? Let's see. Morbius was 15. Yeah, it's tough. I think I'd like... How does it have a 71? It. Like, why Why do people... Here's a, I really have a serious Spider-Man question. Spider-Man fans are morons, because all these comic guys go like, <laughs> well, you know, it's just good that we got to finally see Morbius on, on the big screen. It's like, why? Who cares? <laughs> Nobody cares about that other than you. You're an idiot. I like I like it when, when movies are good. That's yeah. that's a big a big thing. That's what I I'm, and it's a big problem with movies in the last few years is making good ones, uh, but I I don't understand how these, like these movies all look bottom of the barrel to me. Like all of them look terrible, uh, and it, that has nothing to do with any like whether they're woke or anti woke. I know a lot of people love talking about it from that angle. Like it's great that it's got diversity, or it's bad that it's got diversity. They all just look like joyless snore fests and i, Dude, I don't know why anybody boring. wants to watch these movies i don't know how like okay so apparently the writer of this wrote like every bad movie ever the problem i think a lot of the problem is like how do they keep hiring the same shitty script writer Start to write these point. movies why it's a good it's a good question after that guy wrote batman versus superman which made no fucking sense and the movie was about framing superman for killing a bunch of black people in africa where you're like oh yeah that's a great superman plot don't let him make star wars after that you know it's like <laughs> how, does, how does this shit keep happening uh, is it that everybody that has talent wants to take a chance on something different that's you know not a superhero movie and they just don't want to do that like i i don't get it i, I think know. somebody like sucks dicks really well or something <laughs> Like Speaking of who bro. might be, no, I'm not going to say that about this very nice lady who apparently wrote this, I think. I wasn't uh, assuming that a lady wrote it. <laughs> she directed it. She wrote it, too? Oh, maybe not. Maybe she directed oh, it. Yeah, no, co-writer, too. And co-writer. Well, I was trying to find the writer-writer. So, director of what? Let's see. Uh, it wasn't the directing's fault. It was the writer's fault. Who wrote it? All right, well, let me try and find it, then. Let's see. Madame Written Webb. Screen directed for screenplay by, by multiple people. Burke. Claire Parker and the writing team of Matt Samza and Burke. Oh yeah, these were the guys. Okay, Samza and Sharpless. All right, ah, we're gonna, we're gonna go one guys. by one. We got to go one by one. Dracula Untold. Man. Ouch. Not a good one. Not a that's, good one. That's Follows. good. To, you know. Twenty. Wait, last yeah. witch hunter. Is that what I think it is? Oh God, I love the last witch hunter. It's so bad. Have you ever seen that? With Vin Diesel. I've never no. seen yeah. it, but I can see it. At the moment, Vin Diesel said, "Hey, I want to make my D and D campaign into a movie." And then uh, <laughs> I, there's just like a fat wizard chasing them around. I'm like, "Is that like his actual DM for real life?" Because it's just like a fat guy. Uh, okay, so the last yes. witch hunter. Yes, it was Gods of Egypt, Andy. Oh. Another classic. Oh. Oh. Wow that that's a disaster of a poster. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, 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 I never like, even heard of that. Oh, God, it's oh, fucking bad. hilarious. That was a I, see, I, I it looks like, like it's bad. Yeah, Power I, Rangers. I remember seeing go. all these movies. Power I didn't Rangers. make the Power Rangers reboot. I've got to be honest. Story only. Power Rangers. Why make story Zordon on dialogue? No, dialogue. No, just story. <laughs> Making Zordon a bitter, uh, angry former Power Ranger. I was like, isn't this supposed to be fun? Or, I'm so tired of this. Uh, you got to bring Saban back. Morbius, no. the writers of Morbius. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. The writer of Morbius. And Madam yeah. Webb. So they must That's have got a right deal. There. How after you write Last okay. Witch Hunter, do you ever get a job ever again? Okay, so I have a I have a big question uh, involving that list right there. Why yeah. is Why are there a bunch of films and one TV show? Why is uh, it not the other space? way around? Why is Apparently it they the were the showrunners and executive producers How? of The Lost in Space 2018. And that's like a real IP. I don't Gods remember of Egypt anyone talking about this. Did anyone watch the new... Uh, I tried Lost an episode. I couldn't get into it. Feels like, a, feels like no, one of those franchises that needs to die. I like the uh, William Hurt, Mac, Matt LeBlanc film. <laughs> Cezanne and Sharpless. They're... they're, they're... 
Well, uh, so here's what I don't know. So yeah, they they decided they wanted to make an anti-hero universe. Cool. We're gonna get a Craven the Hunter movie where he's sexy now. Craven the Hunter is supposed to be like a big. Freddy I was just Mercury gonna say like that doesn't that. Uh, I mean, I'm not super familiar with Craven the Hunter or anything, but that wasn't what I expected. Well, I ripped on Tony from the Hack the Movies. She's like, Craven's my favorite Spider-Man villain. I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. He's like, what do you make it? But it doesn't make sense. I'm like. What kind of hunter hunts spiders? Should be hunting the <laughs> rhino or some well, he shit. Hunt, he hunts everybody. I mean, yeah, but why yeah. Spider Man? It's a spider guy. He should not fight animal guys. Not a spider guy. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Craven uh, the hunter running around with a plastic cup chasing Spider Man. I mean, play. so they want to do an anti hero. I mean, so Sony owns the Spider Man stuff. At this point, they just yeah. need to make an animated franchise. That's it, right? Like, why not just go to Miller and Lord and go, hey, you guys are geniuses. Uh, this Spider-Verse shit is... Spider -verse. I don't think they can handle it all. I think they could pass some of those dudes. I, I never really got into the, the Craven character, but did they? it seems like, what, a, a tiger or something, or a lion killed his daughter or something? That and That's his... Uh... <laughs> is that really what happened? A lion killed his daughter? <laughs> It, it looks like there's a line. It's a mauling a girl. I just hate animals so fucking much. Why? Because <laughs> this one lion killed my daughter one time. Well, this doesn't mean you should hate all the animals. The arch villain is just yeah. some animal. Yeah, if you scroll through it, there's like a... Or maybe it's a son. I, I thought it was a girl. Oh, I, I don't know. Craven, I'm going to see what Craven the Hunter's backstory is. That might even be thing. him when he was younger. I, I really don't know. He's a guy. Let's see. Based on the Marvel Comics character, the same. Here's what he's supposed to look like. He's supposed to look like this guy, like Freddie Mercury. That's what I expected. Yeah, because he needs a leopard. He should be. So get the I must tiger. Know who he he is. should be the Tiger King, guys. Tiger King comes out. You have your character. He's a psychopath. No, you got owner. it. You got. You're correct. Yeah. Tiger King. That's Tiger King. He's Tiger King. Uh, Steve Ditko made him, so I'm sure he's a stand-in for some sort of uh, Randian bullshit. But uh, let's see exactly what. Uh, Russian immigrant, son of an aristocrat. Oh, was he like a commentary on so like he's communism? Iron hands. Yeah, okay. Uh, subsequent class, he's a big game hunter. World. And at one point, the lover of the voodoo princess, Calypso. Fantastic. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if, uh, yeah, did somebody kill his parents or something? Craven's last hunt. All I know is, how do you get from this to like a little skinny twink Australian guy? No, it's got to be big. And if you're uh, big, getting the doctor, uh, what is it? He's doctor? wearing a lion head as a vest. <laughs> like, <laughs> but that's honestly, right? I want this is a movie that we should have saw like The Rock for or something. Like, you want a big, yeah, a big like, dude, John so Cena, badass. somebody, big dude, you get a wearing big a dude lion head lion vest. as a vest, and it should be funny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. So it should be about a big, stupid guy who's just like, I'm here to hunt, baby. And he just goes and like all these stupid animal themed superheroes, he's just cracking skulls and having fun. It should be like Crocodile Dundee. All right. Dripping. Yeah. 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 Or like a Russian crocodile. Dripping Dundee. with competence. No, yeah. I, I, you should, I, you should I, finish Spider Man 2. I'm it's completely pretty fun. there for that movie. Craven is like this like vicious hunter who wants to hunt all the superheroes and yeah. he's good. Yeah. Like and he he's like his whole like thing is he gets off being beaten by these like really he wants to get killed like that's his whole mo, and it's Ooh. in the game it's actually pretty good he's scary and then he they he comes after Venom and he's like oh my god finally my fr the best foe like it's a it's a really cool vicious thing and so you can't turn him into an antihero like he's got to be a vicious hunter who's there to just murder you. And Sony just doesn't have the balls to like make real villains. It's 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 well because they're making this watered down Listen. PG thirteen shit, and it's like okay, that's fine, but you can still have fun with it. None of these movies are fun. Venom was at least trying to be fun. Yeah, no, I, I actually enjoyed Venom. Uh, yeah, I, I went to it because I I saw a bunch of people complaining about how it was stupid and edgy, and I was like, all right, let's see how stupid and edgy it is. And um, it is both of those things. <laughs> but like that's not to its detriment i think that it's actually like got a weird charm to it uh in that it, it attempts to have a personality at least 
I, I like want... I like the first one, and I definitely like the the look of him. He definitely looked better than you know Spider Man three. Yeah, but again, he's well, an antihero. Like they, I, I didn't hate it. Tom Hardy was funny. Yeah, I still wish he, they'd had Spider Man. It's like again, supposed to be like vicious, and again now Venom, Morbius, Craven, Madam Web. Venom all... should have definitely been R rated, and I don't understand what happened because yeah. all the Deadpool stuff went R rated and made a bunch of money. So why would Sony not embrace that? So it's free. It's free money. Yeah, and Venom Two was not as good. I'll say this: Look, the trailer. Deadpool trailer came out, and it actually it looks good. Highest rated trailer ever, Vito. Really? Yeah. Higher ah, than yeah. Lady Ghostbusters? Oh no, yeah. wait, that was the worst it's... one ever. <laughs> Disney put I mean... a press release out: the highest <laughs> uh, viewed trailer of all time. Highest viewed trailer. Let me see what the views are here. My mom. What the huge... hell? Seventeen million views. Wow. My mom is a huge, like Hugh Jackman fan. Uh, and she called me up. She's like, did you see the wolf or the Deadpool trailer? And yeah. I, and, and, you know, I, I was like, you know, him making fun of Disney is a lot funnier when it's not part of Disney. <laughs> yeah. It feels a little forced. I, it feels a little weird when it's, when it's not. Uh, Disney it's gonna be control. it's gonna be weird when he refers I love, to himself I as feel like it's, Jesus. I got but, uh, I got a weird vibe that I wasn't so expecting. Well, I, I, I'm just Adam gonna say Adam is fantastic, Vito. He's gonna be awesome. Wait, who's I, the guy who's in there? Fantastic? He's from Succession. Oh, the guy in that scene. He's so there. fucking good. I'm so excited to see him. In yeah, this. he he he's a really good actor. I like him too. I'm saying, look, the action looks good. People, did you see the tweet? Somebody was complaining about this, where they're like, I don't know why you boys think it's so cool to load your guns in there. Captain Marvel ignited the sun with her blood. And I'm like, yeah, because that's cool. This looks cool. It looked cool in that stupid sun lighting scene from that terrible Marvels movie. I will go ahead and say this. There is nothing in terms of stylized lighting at all. And it's just well, irritating. that's a Marvel problem. It's always gray. They, they, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's a, it's a problem that they've brought into Deadpool now, which yeah. did not have that problem prior. I don't know why it works though. Like it must be they must have like focus tested and been like, yeah, the audience just wants this really like gray image. I'll say this: part of the problem you have with some of these color graders is like I try to watch these movies. If you're in like, they're like grading it in their dark cave of like editing, yeah. and they're like, yeah, I can see everything, and then it ends up on the screen. I'm like, I can't fucking see anything. Okay, yep. you have to calibrate this for an actual television moron. So I think that's almost why the gray Marvel films work is because everybody's watching this on their shitty just 12 year old. Yeah. Well, because no, they, they, you know, right. dad bought the HDTV 12 years ago and it works fine. Stop asking <laughs> for 4K, Danny, because you ain't getting it. All right. Like, that's probably why the Marvel movies do it so well because you can see what the fuck's going on. Uh, what would, what like, irks I mean, me about. Fair point. Yeah. What irks me about Deadpool, uh, I do like the Deadpool movies, but. What really irks me about the Deadpool movies is all the scenes with the X-Men, all the portrayals of the X-Men are the best scenes we've ever seen, the, the most uh, comic book accurate, to me, the best that yeah. they've ever done. And they're in, you know, jokey Deadpool movies. Uh, Yeah, it's it's sad that we never, yeah, we never got a true R-rated X-Men movie other than the Deadpool stuff, huh? Oh, wait, Logan. Well, that was R -rated. Logan, but. Logan. Logan. Oh, Logan. I like Logan, but it, it had some problems. Uh, I liked Logan was probably one of the few of those movies that I actually was able to take seriously, if I'm honest. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was it was good. Look, this is, is going to be is good. It perfect. No, but no, it's a movie. <laughs> it's uh, certainly better than Madam Web's going to be. That I mean, that's why I say it's a movie. Like it's an right. It, there's something actually happening and this that trailer was like i said well that's the thing this movie's gonna be tell i'm wondering if marvel can do a serious movie ever again like can they do like a serious plot because like yeah this they're gonna nail because it's just fun and goofy but like how do we ever take marvel like any of it seriously ever again like how is there ever gonna be any i don't know it's a good question yeah it's a very good question fantastic four and x-men are their chances to do it yeah, have they, yeah, but Pedro Pascal is going to play Fantastic Four, or going to play Reed Richards. I, don't, I, don't, Man, I am so Pedro fucking Pascal? tired of that guy. I'm, he's going to be, he's going to do goofy Pedro Pascal. He's going to be a goof. I'm so fucking tired. of He Pedro better not Pascal. be a fucking goof. 
Mr. Fantastic's got to be a cold-hearted man of science. His wife comes in with uh, wearing yeah, lingerie, yeah, and he goes, can you with, hand me that in a good galactic uh, spanner so I can adjust my... That's that's my read, Richard. I finally Ooh, that... finished uh, The Last of Us, the game, because I've been wanting to play the game before I watched the show. Yeah. And you were right, Vito. My God, Joel is just a fucking murderer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of. I love the last. He's a butcher. Like, and then, at the end, though, he really it is clear what's happening. I haven't uh, gotten yeah. through yet. But do, do they? As anyone I, on the show, which I'm going to watch soon, does does uh, uh, Pedro embrace that? Like, is he a killer on the show too? They, I haven't watched they, the show. They they kind of the show. They kind of portray him as like kind of losing it at a certain point, you know, to kind of acknowledge that, you know. But as a as a gamer playing you know such a cinematic story in a game i've kind of always turned my brain off for those no. scenes because it's like it's giving you gameplay to entertain you in between all these cut scenes so i kind of don't yeah. even look at all those kills as even canon you know but maybe that's just how i cope with it yeah that scene at the end where he kills like they literally like give me the choice to murder the nurses i'm just like fuck. <laughs> I kill them every time. I'm not gonna. Joel's lie. a okay. Here's the biggest problem with video games: they go, "It's like I'm a bad man. I've done bad things, but I, you know, I hope I can change. I want to be good." I'm like, "No, you killed 200 people. You're one of the worst mass murderers in history. Like, you're up there. Uh, uh, this is I mean, they're trying to kill him. The scale. Were, yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, it and then everybody goes, game, I, "I can't be believe honest. he." I had fun with it. I mean, it's depressing. You see, it's fun. you see me arguing with the fan base who goes, "I don't know why they killed off Joel. He was." He's a hero. I'm like, no, he's a monster. What do you? I think he was about? gonna die no matter what. He had to die. His arc was over. Okay, that's it. The end of this game is the end of his arc. He kills a million people. The only, the only way to have he Ellie grow girl, like as a, a character. He's a old man, a doddering around that village. Oh, you haven't played the second one at all, Andy. But you yeah, know he, thanks, he's you gonna know. die. But you know, I, uh, you've seen the spoilers. Uh, I'm running out of steam. I probably got to go to bed here, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up pretty soon anyway. Uh, so, Peter, how do we find you? Obviously, you're on YouTube, correct? Yeah, YouTube.com slash Peter. Um, oh, you got YouTube.com slash Peter? Peter? Have you always had that? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah, looking nice. forward I had it, to the, I had uh, it from the very yeah. beginning. Looking forward to the Peter documentary Coffin. coming up. Peter Coffin also works, but Peter... It's, it's you can just go to youtube.com slash Peter. Dude, that's going to be worth money someday. Yeah. Man. It, it's, the first name I got a whole, channels. I got a whole, a whole bunch of uh, subscribers, but like I said, you know. Yeah, well, the algorithm just screws everybody over, It man. sucks. Everybody you have a documentary like coming up, right? Yeah, I do have a documentary coming up about uh, AI, uh, plagiarism, and um, Plato. The uh, H bomber guy is causing yeah. some trouble. I, I know you've been uh, going hard on him. Yeah. Uh, and also, he has a new video about Vosh's lolly disaster. If you guys want to check out more of that, youtube.com yes, slash Peter. I, I appreciate you guys having me on. Thanks um, for coming by. It's been great. Uh, it's great having That's you come by awesome. anytime. Yeah. I will right. uh, happily come back. I had fun. Awesome, Just man. Running out of I, see I, am, I am done. In yeah. terms oh, of all, I think it's the same. I think we're wrapping up here. All right. Well, that was Peter, our good friend. Uh, Andy, how do we know how to find you, of course? Yeah, probably where you go to uh, my movie world. Relatable oh. Andy, where uh, <laughs> we can <laughs> find you. Go watch my movie That's trailer great. for Madam Web and other movies. And you can see Vito and I sometimes talk about the best movies ever. Over on uh, we, what we movie? We do a new one on the Marvels, I think. Yeah, I would still, I would definitely do that. Madam Web review right now on Movie World Plus. Andy got to see it a day early because he gets all the access. So I'll but, probably uh, have to watch your watch review. Watch Vito and I complain about bad. Have to be have to like bad movies. Those were fun. I am going to make you do it at one point just to relive it. But come uh, up with a, any any week. Come up with a week or and we'll, whatever movie, and we'll make. Yeah, it well, I think Marvels is pretty. Would be pretty fun. I can cool. definitely. I, I can. I'm sure I could say something nice about the Marvels. So Brie we'll Larson's continue. hot. I wish they'd kept that uh, Valkyrie lesbian stuff. But that is the positive of Madam Web. They are all very attractive. <laughs> they gotta do more like of this. Better than Morbius, because at least you're like, all right, well, some beautiful, talented actors at least trying their best. I, yeah. Jared, you know, I've seen him do that way too. I'm bored. I don't need to see that. All right, Andy. Good seeing you. Top loaded. But don't forget subscribe to my good friend Top Loaded Gaming. I uh, can find him on YouTube. 
Yeah, and thanks for having out, me again. Having fun. Yeah, of course, man. Thanks for coming by. Always a blast. Uh, always good to have you guys. What can I say? Uh, here, I'll show you guys. Don't forget, if you're a fan of The Biggest Problem in the Universe, merchandise now available at killdozer.industries, including the beloved Ricky shirt. There he is. I actually have that. I should have wore it for the stream. I'm going to wear it on the next episode of the show. Available in army green, uh, lime green. It's kind of nice little orange sunburst color, uh, creamsicle, and classic white and classic brown as well. Not to mention, guys, if you don't have a copy of my card game, Enemy Weapon, I've been shipping out a bunch of these. So, no, you can always get a copy of Enemy Weapon if you're looking for something to do. Uh, other than that, you know, you, you guys, if you haven't gotten the comic yet, uh, we got a lot of pages done uh, this last month and a half. Things are shaping up. Uh, it's looking better than ever. I'm talking to my colorist this week. So, we're going to get cranking on some color. Check that out. We're at $82,000, which is just phenomenal. Uh, guys, we'll be back next Tuesday. More Tuesday Night Grift. I need an outro song, and I don't have one. Uh, so let's just see if I can find. Hold on. Uh, I'll give you I'll give you an out. I'll give you an outro here. Here's your outro for today. Uh, the outro will be, of course, Inflate a Girl and Her Inflatable Fox. There you go. What a nightmare. What the? My channel's going to get banned if I... <laughs> what the fucking shit? This, this is too much. Have fun. Goodbye.